What's good everybody, SG Scouts here, back with another video. Today we're going to be taking our first look at the big 6-2 cornerback out of Virginia Tech, Caleb Farley. Arguably the top cornerback in this year's draft. He's expected to go somewhere in the top of the first round and might even crack the top 10. But before we get into the analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell to never miss a video. I also want to thank you guys for all the support on the previous video. The Jamar Chase film session is now my most viewed video on my channel, I believe. So that's huge. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, please make sure to go uh, take a look. Also, if there's a player you want to see in my next video, please make sure to let me know in the comments section. Uh, you know, the All-22 film for college is limited, but I try to get to as many players as I possibly can. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so similar to Chase, Farley decided to not play in the 2020 college football season. So the tape we're going to be watching today is from 2019, an earlier game in the season versus Wake Forest. Now in his two years at Virginia Tech, Farley put up pretty good ball numbers. Had four picks last year and six overall. So he checks those boxes off. Um, so this first player we're going to be looking at here versus Wake Forest. Uh, Wake Forest is going to be running tight splits across the formation. And Virginia Tech is going to be dropping into a cover three with Farley playing the weak half. Uh, weak deep half of the field and then the two receivers on his side of the field uh, the the top of the split is going to be running a deep over and then the bottom guy is going to be running or he's going to slip into a corner out and this is really going to be testing the eyes of Farley and also the weak side linebacker and we'll see here I'll let it run fully through one time Farley really bites on that over route and the uh, late corner is actually going to end up getting open there. So let's get a better look here. See, at this point, this kind of route combination is really testing the eyes of Farley. Um, at this point, he sees two receivers are running to his side of the field. He understands he has help in the middle, and he also understands he has a linebacker underneath. But you'll see that a running back is going to end up breaking out. That's going to take the, the linebacker down the field. And what I'd like to see here from Farley is for him to just continue gaining depth instead of biting on that uh, over-breaking route. You'll see at this point he commits to that in-breaking route, but he needs to understand 25 is there with the help. Um, you know, as soon as he closes the hips, that number two receiver from Wake Forest has plenty of green grass to run through. And I just don't think it was the right decision to, you know, cut that route loose right there. So that's something to pay attention to. Um, just his eye discipline and zone coverage. He's a pretty aggressive playmaker um, Especially in zone so you know teams can sometimes catch him lacking and um, You know take advantage of his aggressive play style like Wake Forest did right here And that led to a big gain for the team All right, so here's a short clip of Farley playing press on the inside um, The receivers gonna be trying to run a short out route But Farley's just gonna be too too long and too strong for the receiver to create any separation. Now defenses put a premium on corners that can play good press and Farley being a 6-2 corner with some pretty good athletic traits. Um, you know, he definitely looks the part and then you'll see on a play like this, you know, he shows it off on the field. You see at the top of the route, receiver tries to push off, but Farley just too strong and then that length keeps him in phase. Plays through the receiver and then physical after the catch. And also another thing I just love is how his feet and his hands stay in unison. You'll see he's shuffling to the side and then uses his hands. Good stuff. That's what we like to see there from Farley. Now besides man press, we also need to look at his off-man ability. And one of the more important traits for a good off-man corner is route anticipation. And Farley's going to absolutely show that off on this play. Now this is a Wake Forest receiver. Wake Forest isn't exactly known for making NFL wide receivers, but um, you know Farley's just gonna absolutely have this curl route from number six on lock. I don't know what cued him or if he just feels that you know athletically um, superior to number six. But you'll see at the top of the route, Farley starts breaking before the even does, which is just ridiculous route anticipation. You know he feels the break and just no separation at all and Wake Forest got a big play doesn't matter though 
I don't know what cued him, but you'll see at the top of the route, Farley's breaking before the receiver even does. And you know, with his length, he can just close that passing window so quickly, and he also has the athletic ability to recover if he gets beat a little bit. But this is just a very good off-man snap. Alright, so here's another off-man snap. As you'll see, Farley on the bottom side of the screen playing the X receiver. And Virginia Tech's actually going to run a basically an all-out blitz. So Farley's going to be by himself on an island. Um, on this type of defensive play, Farley basically understands that the only way the receiver can, you know, get a reception is if he a runs a slant or some sort of you know short mesh or something or b runs a go and the quarterback just you know tosses it down the field so farley you know there's two routes he basically has to cover and you'll see on this play what i really like is just his recovery because he's gonna think that it's a go route and then the receiver is gonna fake back inside and you'll just see the length and athleticism he has the explosive first step We'll just let it run through right there. And just how quickly he gets back into the route. You'll see at the top, at this point, you see Farley with the wide base. He, he was expecting, um, you know, an outside route when the receiver attacked with the lead foot. But then he breaks it inside. Farley gets beat a little bit. You just see that explosive first step. And the length just makes this a tough throw when it really probably wouldn't have against another cornerback. You know, another impressive snap from Caleb. Here's a soft press snap from Farley as Virginia Tech's going to be blitzing again and Farley's going to be playing the press man against the receiver number six. who He's been going up against all game so at this point he sort of has a feel for his release and some of the routes that you know Wake Forest wants that receiver to run. But on this route number six is actually going to try to switch up the release and then fake inside and then go back outside and run the go. And you see Farley stays absolutely very disciplined throughout it all and uh, stays in phase with the receiver so I just really like his his feet discipline you know he stays true to his technique and he doesn't just you need to use his physicality and his his length to uh, win and press you can see here he can also use his feet and his hips you know keeps his um, keeps his chest facing the receiver throughout those first few yards doesn't overcome it and flip his hips just really good discipline play here from Farley is what we like to see Obviously, number six is not Devontae Adams, but still, he's just got to, you know, he can only play against, you know, who they put in front of him. But uh, really good stuff there from Farley. And on the very next play, Wake Forest is actually going to target Farley, as number five is going to be running an out and up to really test that aggressive style that Farley plays with. And you'll see this is probably my favorite play um, from this Wake Forest game. This play really shows off how smooth of a mover Farley is and also shows that he, you know, he can still stay disciplined while being aggressive and anticipating routes. Um, at the top, he's actually going to be anticipating the out and you'll see that he's ready to break on it. But then he, uh, you know, he stays disciplined, stays in phase and then carries the out or the go up the field. And he still has that um, recovery speed to, you know, get there. See there, he's ready to jump the route. But then he has the recovery speed to get there, create a pass deflection. Good stuff there. I mean, this is about as good as it gets. He's just all over this receiver the whole time. I just really love that discipline because Wake Forest knows that he's been playing aggressive this whole game. So this is really that one shot play they got at Farley. But Farley doesn't bite too hard. And he just absolutely suffocates the receiver throughout. So this is impressive, you know. It's beginning of the second half. Wake Forest trying to get a big play. This is a close game. Farley shuts it down. So the receiver's going to be running a comeback route on the strong side of the field here. And Farley's going to be playing off man. And up until this point, Farley really hasn't allowed anything. There was that one catch from maybe two yards. But besides that, he's he's been absolutely shut down. So I'm not sure why Wake Forest would draw this play up. You know, a comeback route. Working back to the quarterback on the far side of the field. Definitely doesn't seem like a high percentage throw. But, um, you know, Farley does his job on this play. Shows off that patience and discipline again. And just the closing speed he has is ridiculous. 
and you'll see that he's going to be playing basically sort of in a downhill way because I just think he has a plan going up against this receiver. He understands the advantages he has over him, you know, athletically. Um, so he's really sort of expecting these breaking routes in the medium area of the field. And that's good to know that he's, you know, playing with a plan because in the NFL, he's going to be going up against a lot of different types of receivers. So his ability to adjust, you know, depending on his matchup is is very important. And he displays this uh, in this game here. I really just love everything about this play, the smooth movement effortlessly flips his hips and that explosive first step the length gets in there for the pass deflection this really just shows off everything farley has going for him the anticipation he expects it and then again the explosive nips the explosiveness and the length his timing as well is just so perfect not to you know get there too early and lead to a pass interference stays disciplined with the ball in the air almost gets a pick great stuff again all right, here's the last play of the film session. The receiver is going to be running a go route, and Farley is going to be playing press man. And on this play, there's some good and some bad. Off the bat, Farley doesn't really look in unison with his hands and his feet, as he's going to try to attack with two hands about two yards down the field. But he's going to end up flat-footed, and his timing was just off with his hands and his feet. And, you know, he's going to get beat off the bat, but what I like is how patient and calm he stays in his recovery. You know, he does have the athletic advantage over the receiver, so... You know, it's good to know that he's, um, you know, staying calm in recovery because he's going to get beat, you know, once or twice a game, uh, you know, matter, basically no matter who he's going up against. So it's important to stay cool. And he also gets his head around with the ball in the air, which is great, too. So you'll see right here as he's backing up right there. He's got a wide base. You know, I really like when he attacks with one hand, you know, his two hand stuff. He still needs to improve his timing and you see right there, as I said, wide base. You know, he doesn't have any power in his hands as he's working backwards. It's going to allow the receiver to beat him there off the release. Then he stays cool down the field. Not sure what the quarterback was thinking there. He's some back shoulder stuff. Gets his head around. You know, great timing with the, uh, you know, the ball skills. So this is important, you know, considering he's going to get beat at some point in almost every game. Just his ability to recover, you know, stay calm and cool. Good stuff. And to give my final thoughts on my first look at Caleb Farley, I can definitely say now that I'd be happy with my team choosing him in the top half of the first round. I really like him as a prospect. You know, I knew about the physical stuff before this video, but the mental traits really stood out to me on tape. The anticipation that he plays with, and also I just love the fact that he plays with a plan, his ability to adjust, depending on the receiver he's going up against, I think that's going to be big for him going forward. But uh, I'm not going to give him any final grades in this video. You know, I might come back to him and then give my confirmed final thoughts on him in a later video. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it at that one week forest game. Um, but yeah. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All the support for the channel goes a long way, and I really appreciate it. Um, you know, now up until the 2021 NFL Draft, there's going to be a lot of new videos on my channel. So please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that content. But yeah, thank you guys, and I'm out.